Do you ever feel frustrated because you can't seem to aim or get power or make your shots look like this? Well, don't worry because this is achievable and I made this video to help you guys out. The first thing I'm gonna go over, I believe is a very underestimated topic. And that would be your planting foot. It can determine things like knuckle, curvature of the ball, speed, power, and lift, and probably other stuff, but who really knows? When planting, try to have your foot about half away from the ball so that you have enough distance to get a good spot on the ball and have decent power on it. The next tip is your run up. The reason this is important is because this is where most of your momentum comes from. Running through the ball is very simple. Look how I'm leaning a little bit forward and when I kick it, I still keep running through the ball. If you run through the ball, you'll keep momentum and get more power behind your shot. I don't know about you guys, but did you also hear that laser beam sound effect whenever I kicked that? On the first kick, you can see that I hopped a little bit, so it's like I'm running through it, maintaining my momentum. But on the second one, I stopped, and that killed my momentum. Try to do that, and you'll see an exponential difference. Being that you already know that contact point is good for dribbling and juggling, let me talk to you about how it's good for shooting. Contact area is really easy to understand. If you hit it on the top, the ball is going to go down faster. But if you hit it on the bottom, it's going to go up and a bit slow. But if you hit it right in the middle of the ball, it'll go as fast and far as you can make it. That shot you just watched me make was the difference between here and here. So three things to remember is contact on the top part of the ball means it'll travel low. The middle of the ball means it'll travel just right. And the lower part of the ball means it'll fly high in the sky. It's the middle of the video, so it must have provided useful information for you. Please like and subscribe because it's a hard and long process to make these YouTube videos. Things you want to do while using pros as reference is get a backside and frontside view of them taking a free kick and try to replicate it to the best of your ability. And I have Ronaldo doing it. Here's Ronaldo doing it, and here's me, and I'm not doing any cuts because I want to be honest with the results. If it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm going to do my best. Ooh, that was bad. You can see that my foot was way too far away from the ball and I used my body and my arms way too much. Pause. Now that I've identified my problems by watching this clip, I can take the time to watch myself with some more clips and do my best to fix these errors. I practiced a few days and I shot this scorcher right before I went inside for dinner. Even though not much looks different from my last shot, and it doesn't look identical to Renato's shot, I made some small adjustments using his form, but also did what came naturally to me like my oddly bent arm, and I shot this absolute chicken crisp. I'm sorry for the interruption, but I have the absolute best grandpa in the world. And also, if you tell me that he isn't the best grandpa in the world, I will fight you with my super manly Barbie boxing gloves. I don't know if those exist. He gave me this microphone and a tripod for this video because he believes in me. And I just want to say I'm super grateful for this, Papa, and thank you, and I love you. And everybody watching the video, please comment, thank you, Papa. My last tip is please don't make the mistake I did that held me at a 20 meter shot distance for over two years. This has a story in it, so if you want to skip that, you can go to the next timestamp I put in the video. To make it really short, I lived in a rural neighborhood with 15 to 20 feet that I could shoot. And if I got it into my neighbor's yard, no exaggeration, he would chase me off his lawn with his underwear to make sure that I wouldn't be in trouble with this guy. But I would get really close to the goal to make sure that I had so much comfortability in my shot that my instinct was just super good. And I developed really great shot power and now I can shoot 20 meters but when I moved here I decided that I was like oh I need to push my limits so I went super far but I got super tense because I tried to kick too hard and my upper body didn't work do it as close to the goal as you can be relaxed with because whenever you're comfortable you'll learn how to shoot harder and eventually it'll just come naturally to you just shoot closer to the goal whenever I went super far that way I would try to shoot and then my upper body wouldn't work so my upper body was super tense and it would look like this I wouldn't use it 
If you shoot close to the goal, you'll be super comfortable and you'll be able to develop your instinct and your body will be able to act as you need. Now you'll be able to slowly and gradually go farther from the goal, but if you do it a comfortable spot, not super close, not super far, you'll just be able to feel more shot power. And whenever you feel like you're shooting super hard into the goal from where you're at, you can advance to the next step. Just don't do as far as you can. Try to develop your strength gradually. Before I go to bed, I would like to talk about the Bible verse of the video and this one is really important because it's really easy to get caught up with your dreams of soccer but forget about the way we need to remember God. So the Bible verse that I'm going to show you is Ecclesiastes 12 verse 1. So remember your creator in the days of your youth before the days of adversity come and the years approach when you will say, I have no delight in them. So I'm going to explain this to you in my point of view. What it's saying is that it's really important that we prioritize God over what we want to do because it shows him that we prioritize our relationship with him rather than kicking a ball into a net. See, isn't that really important? When you die and we're in heaven, it doesn't matter how good we were in soccer. All that matters is that we had a good relationship with God. So just make sure you prioritize him and you take time out of your day to read your Bible, pray, and listen to God. I love God and you can too. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your week.